trade between Mexico and China has taken place for centuries. And we can go back to the 17th, 18th centuries in all the trade between the new Spain and China that brought goods that are used today in China's gastronomy and products that are right now in Mexico. That has evolved over time. And over the past, the past 50 years with diplomatic relationships, this has getting stronger and stronger to a point in which today Mexico is the second most important trade partner of China in Latin America. And, uh, and we see many opportunities. Now, into the future, we should move beyond trade. We're talking about investments. Investments as Chinese companies and Mexican counterparts should be part together in global supply chain strategies. And that's part of why we are in this conference and uh, in this occasion. It's a very, very complex uh, situation. Yes, Mexico, I think it's probably within the top five uh, automotive manufacturers in the world. And uh, if I am not mistaken, it might be the third or fourth largest with major brands. The presence of Chinese companies has been increasing in the recent years, and this has created certain tensions. I think for Mexico, we should continue this. I mean, Mexico has the logistics, the infrastructure, the perfect locations for the Chinese car manufacturers to establish and to set up their complete manufacturing facilities, but not just to look to the US. Mexico is strategically located. We have 50 trade agreements. We have routes to connect from Mexico to Europe, to South America, to the Caribbean, not only the US. So I think the Chinese car manufacturers should look at Mexico, not just for the US, but South, East, West. And that should be the base on the strategy. Jelajahi cara baru mendapatkan informasi. Download Metro TV Extend sekarang.